How's it going, everyone? It's Abdallah here, and I'm joined with Mr. AGZ. How's it going? It's going good, man. How about you? Oh, everything is good. I've got all of the gym badges, as you can see right over here. Bam! We've got <laughs> the the first four that we got. We got the bonus badges. We got the three Elite Four badges, and now this is the fourth Elite Four match. I'm on a roll, and I need a partner for this one, as you can see. <laughs> oh, right. shoot. That yeah, was good man. times, man. This is very good times. Anyway, so um, in order to get the fourth gym badge uh, from the Elite Four, Sorin, the gym leader, um, ultimately what we had to do was uh, we had to do a doubles battle, which was pretty crazy considering the fact that there was like no one around for the doubles battle. So I enlisted the help of um, Adam over here, the P Hacks Pokemon League champion. <laughs> in order to um, go through and battle, which was really fun. So, um, yeah, we knew that Soren was a grass-type leader, uh, and then her teammate was uh, Odell, which was the fire leader, as you guys seen from the previous episodes, which was pretty awesome. So they double-teamed up, and, yeah, it was it was a, a good time, a really good time. Um, did you ever get to battle against uh, Soren? at all during the tournament, Adam? I did. I did. We got to do some fun battles. She's got a tough, mean team. I mean, geez. Uh, I feel sorry for anybody that has no idea how to, how to handle grass and the different things they can cover. It's really good, man. Yeah. All right. Well, if you guys have not seen the playlist before, definitely go check it out in the description. I'm going to go to the site right now and read her bio. Um, her bio is... Her name is Sorel. Why does it say Sorin? Eh. Sorel, the weather expert. I don't know. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> After working for many years at Hoenn's Weather Institute, Sorel uh, wanted to gain more first-hand experience with the most extreme types of weather the world had to offer. Over the years, she trained a multitude of different Pokemon suited to traveling in all types of weather to help her research. Battling with other trainers on the road, she discovered that she had also become a powerful battler and was offered an invitation to participate in the PPL as a member of the Pac South Elite Four. Uh, Sorrells brought her favorite grass types, ready to bask in the sun or soak up the rain. Weather her storm to earn the greenhouse emblem. Okay, so this is it. So knowing that they had a fire type elite trainer and a grass type elite trainer, I decided to, um, you know, grab Adam and I'm like, hey, you know what? Me and the champ are going to team up against you guys. So we were spot on. We were looking through our Pokemon and trying to devise a team. Um, with the experience that I have on the, um, was it the Battle Mace on with doubles? I knew that yep. Pachirisu would be a great doubles teammate. So I said, hey, Adam, you got a Garchomp somewhere? Garchomp will do great work against these guys. So Adam brought his Garchomp. Um, and then the rest was just kind of filler. Um, I felt that Altaria would do pretty good with the Hyper Voice and potential Flamethrower. And Choice Banded Dragonite is an awesome panic button. Uh, Mr. AGZ, what did you bring on that um, that Venusaur? Or what was your thought process behind bringing those two? My thought process was with Venusaur, I could always use the I could always use the Mega Evolution, get that Venusaur right working, and we can go ahead and handle any kind of fire attacks because of that thick fat. And of course, me and Grass, we don't have to worry about too much, and also any poison attack they dish out, we're good to go there. So we don't have to worry about sleep or anything else they may throw out. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and then oh. the Heatran, too. Heatran would soak up any kind of fire attacks due to flash fire, and uh, it would absorb quad resist any grass types. So yeah. this was a perfect counter team. And at the same time, um, we knew that they'd possibly bring sun. So we've got some fire type moves of our own, so some pokes to take advantage of that. So without further ado, let's jump on into it, shall we? Let's do it. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is high stakes. Will we be able to come out victorious? I don't know. But we're going to try it out. So our train of thought is bringing in Pachirisu um, and Garchomp. So that was it. Garchomp could potentially Swords Dance up. Um, but right now, we're noticing that uh, the Superior has got the Light Screen and Reflect combination. So we go immediately for the Rock Slide, hoping to kill Volcarona, but that doesn't happen due to the Reflect. Um, Volcarona goes for that Quiver Dance, obviously going to outspeed both of us on the next turn because it survived that Rock Slide. And my Pachirisu, I decided to go for the Nuzzle, uh, just to paralyze this very, very fast Superior. Uh, pretty good. What do you yeah. think? We knew we had to slow it down because that thing would have moved fast with that contrary ability coming up. We oh, had man. to then look at this awesome move by you, becoming the center of attention. That absolutely set us up for success right here because 
I didn't have to worry about any damage. You're bulky as can be with that That's fairy. Right. And I just run Rock Slide all day on the That's right. That's right. So I'm able to recover up due to the Citrus Berry. Um, gonna go ahead and go for that rock slide. Hope for the para flinch. That's what we're aiming for on this. But uh, we were able to kill Volcarona, do a little bit more damage to the superior. Uh, the last thing we want on superior is to use that leaf storm and get that plus two special attack. Uh, so Sorel decides to go for that light screen instead, just in case. Get the two screens out, call it a day. So here comes Charizard. Um, again, not really friendly to rocks, um, but we're gonna be able to uh, do some work with that rock slide. Absolutely. I mean, the good thing is, is we with the rock slide able to hit both sides, we can actually concentrate on both at the same time. But also having you do that follow me allows for us to take out one side once and we can worry about the other on the, on the next turn. Yeah, I'm surprised that, uh, well, it was a critical hit on the Charizard. I'm not sure if that mattered because it was under reflect, um, depending on how bulky it was. But it, it could have possibly mattered, but I don't know. And then your para out. helped out. Your para helped out right there against that superior. Oh yeah, no doubt. So here we go. We're going to continue on with the follow me because we don't want to take any um, unnecessary damage on Garchomp. So I figured we might as well sacrifice Pachirisu. He did a great job, um, pretty much dodging everything. Um, so right now, Talon Flames there. Um, we're going to go for that Fire Fang just to kill this superior off. Because last thing we want is for it to do the Leaf Storm, and it's doing it right now. So it's going to kill Patchy. Not good. That darn, I mean, that reflect is what allowed him to stay alive. I can't believe he actually hung on right there with the sun out. Yeah, that's crazy. A fire fang, sun boosted. Anyway, well, we got Dragonite over here. I can easily go for extreme speed on any one of these Pokemon and knock them out. I decided to go for uh, right on this uh, superior just to get it out of there. It was already at plus two. I didn't want to take any unnecessary damage with that. So here comes this, uh, I don't know if it's Choice Bandit or what, but it's a very strong Brave Bird giving Garchomp at least 50% off. That's that's pretty crazy. Yeah. I think Man. something that was absolutely amazing, as you can see here, we have yet to mess with Rock Slide. And usually, you always mess with Rock Slide at the most critical time, and it happens. But fortunately for us, we were doing pretty good today, man. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, every single one of his Pokemon were weak against the Rock Slide. Um, and it looked like four times weak. Yeah. Volcarona, like Charizard, and uh, Talonflame. It was crazy. Anyway, so I'm going for the extreme speed because I'm locked into it, simply because I'm uh, choice banded to get the maximum damage output. Um, we're just going to go for Fire Fang. We're going to knock this guy right out. And it's pretty downhill from here for them. I mean, other guy doesn't have any Pokemon. Sorel's kind of back against the corner. I don't know. This, this is our last poke right here, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So I knew that um, extreme speed wouldn't really do much work towards it. So I decided to switch into Alteria. Uh, to possibly go for some hyper voices and some other stuff. So, as much HP as I had left, I just figured might as well rock slide, hope for flinch. Yeah, and we didn't get a single flinch, but that's okay. We got one para hack, and uh, that was good enough for us. So sure. we've yeah, we've got plenty of Pokemon here. I mean, we can easily just clean this guy up, and we're gonna be able to two v one this guy. You're gonna send in your Heatran and uh, hopefully go for a steel move that's super effective on it, Absolutely. and. Uh, yeah, and then I can either choose to Mega Evolve or just pretty much stay in and, and not. So the game is pretty much in the bag. And it was really funny because the other team, they were boasting about how they got, uh, we're 11 and 1. We got 11 and 1. Only, we only lost once. And we're like, uh, you mean 11 and 2. It was really funny. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. See, they hadn't faced anybody like us, man. I mean, you, you're fantastic at the strategizing. And me, well, I was a champ for this year. So. I think we had a pretty good combination, man. Yeah, it was really good. Um, so right here, it's literally one more um, Hyper Voice, and this is the uh, fully stat-boosted Hyper Voice uh, because you don't get the stat boost on turn one of the Mega Evolution. So there we go. You're going to withdraw because you don't want to risk any of the uh, para hacks or the, the hacks on Confusion. So this is easy. It's game, set, match. Hyper Voice right over here. Um, right here, I do get a crit on it. Don't really think the crit mattered because we would have just gone through and knocked him out either way. Yeah. So there we go. Wow, we did it. It was pretty awesome. So we've earned uh, ourselves the dun, 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 greenhouse emblem. Yeah, I don't think you could see yeah. it all that well. Yeah, we got a greenhouse emblem. And uh, Odell gave me another one of his badges. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got two of his. That's awesome since I beat him twice. Really good, really good matches. We took a group picture. 
The group picture was really funny. Ha oh, ha. Awesome. <laughs> As you can see it over there, they're just they're like all <laughs> face palming. Just really, really fun stuff. So I had a fun time with it. Uh, I hope you guys did too. Um, you guys know what that means. That means that I completed the Elite Four. Beat the Elite Four. I got every single badge. And now it's time to fight the PAX Pokemon League champion himself. Who's that? Who's that? Mr. AGZ. That's him. That's him. All right. So stay tuned for it, guys. We are going to. We're going to do. It, it's a good battle. It's a very good battle. I'm not going to spoil it. And those of you guys who know the outcome, don't spoil it. So it's going to be a very good one. Um, it'll be against Adam, and it'll be amazing. So I can't wait to do it. I can't wait to post narrate it. It'll be very fun. In case you guys have not checked out Adam's channel, it's uh, youtube.com slash MrAGZ. The link will be in the description. Go check him out. Awesome PokeTuber. Um, lots of good stuff going on that channel. Um, but other than that, um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the finale of PAX Pokemon League South 2015. If you guys have some more time, click on the annotations on the screen right now to be taken to other playlists that happen yeah. from PAX East and PAX Prime. Uh, you got any other uh, last words, Adam? Guys, make sure you hit that like button for Abdallah Smash 026, and make sure you follow him on Twitter as well. It's Abdallah Nation and myself, Mr. AGZ, if you want to do that as well, guys. We're, we're putting out Nintendo content all the time. Hit that like button and share this video with everybody you know, guys. Alright, until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. See ya. Peace.